What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. This is Mr. Warmack. I'm in the building. You know who I am. A.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant Americans, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. I'm here to do another video on um, my thoughts about the shutdown and uh, will the government shut down. Me personally, I think the problem is the well, well in the Senate, whatever, whatever is whatever is like a. I think the Senate, the Senate's the one that uh, had an agreement, a bipartisan agreement, I might add. But in the House of Representatives, they had a problem where it's, it's Republican controlled, but it's not. The Republicans' fault per se. Let me go in. Me personally, it's the Tea Party. It's these wackos in the Tea Party that's ruining for the Republicans. And the Republicans are the old Democrats. They have no balls. They won't. They won't rein in the Tea Parties. Problem is, whenever the Tea Party rants and raves, the Republicans. Boehner, man, Boehner used to have some nuts. Now he's just like a eunuch or something. He just can't say no to these folks. It's like they're his wives or something. No, at the end of the day, you know, I understand the Tea Party. You know, hey, we're not, we don't want no new this, that, and the fifth. I understand, but the problem with the Tea Party is the Tea Party's message is so distorted. It, it's like radicalism. It's a, the Tea Party to me is compared to like radical Islamists. There, to me, there is no different. They're just, they're just, you know, terrorists in suits. And they have a, they have a nice little message for they they play to the folks. The reason I hate the Tea Party because the Tea Party used a lot of code messages. They used a lot of racial coded messages that they they you know, they thought nobody understood. Well, this is a new day and age. Everybody's hip to those messages. And the problem for me is, like I said, I, I believe in what a lot of Republicans say. I, I have videos saying how black folks and the brown folks, and they, I mean, they need to, a lot of them need to join the GOP. I have it ain't, it ain't the Republicans I have a problem with. It's these Tea Party wackos who they refuse to rein in, and like uh, it's it, it's to the point it's getting sickening now. I mean, personally, I'll, I'll vote for somebody if it's if it's sound, if a bill sounds good. Republican, I don't care if it's Republican or Democrat. If it sounds, bill sounds good, or the vote sounds good, I'll vote for it. But like I said, it's these wackos in the in the in the Republican Party, these Tea Party Republicans, that you know the, the midterms are coming up, or by it depends on when I upload this video. I think I'll wait till after the elections, but uh, the midterms are coming up as I'm doing this video or a podcast, and I feel the problem with that is the Tea Party wackos are going to alienate a lot of, a lot of probably, you know, a lot of voters that were swinging either way, because I'm, this, this video, this podcast, I'm making it, I'm, I'm going to put the, here, I'll never do this, I usually never do it, but just for consistency's sake, and to say I told you so, I'm doing this podcast on the 15th of October, it's just around like, it's around like 11 o'clock in the morning. And what I think is going to happen is there's going to be a deal before the vote, before voting, before next month's votes. There has to be a deal. There might be a deal before our, because our, our, our credit is under what? Under review. Our credit rating, I think, I don't, I'm not, not, I think it's Mooney's or whatever, whoever the hell does it. They put our credit rating under review. We were at a triple A or quadruple A, I think. Now we're down to a triple A. Or A plus or something like that. And then we're under review, first of all. And number two... The Democrats, they have the. They just all they gotta do is. It's like the, uh, for all you folks that are in America, it's like when the Baltimore Ravens won their first Super Bowl with Trent Dilfer as quarterback. This is the Democratic. This should be the Democratic strategy until the elections are over. All they had, all the all the Baltimore Ravens, they won their first Super Bowl with Trent Dilfer as quarterback. And this is when Ray Lewis and all they won defense. This is when they had the, the badass defense. All you gotta do is. Don't throw any interceptions and don't fumble the ball and let us will win the game. That should be the Democratic motto. They should the Democrats should tell each other, look, don't say anything stupid to you know to their Congress people. Don't say anything stupid. We'll win the game. 
And right now they're winning the game following that policy. Because the Tea Party is, like like I said, the Tea Party, I think the Senate Republicans, I think they kind of understand because they're, they, they're more entrenched in as far as political Washington. I think the Senate Republicans understand what's going on. The Senate Republicans see that whether you like it or not, People are not happy with this. They're people are blaming the Republicans. They're blaming the Republicans point blank period. And they're, they're, they're not making one way or another if it's the Tea Party Republicans or the Republican Republicans. They're saying it's the Republicans, period. And a lot of I think a lot of the Senate Republicans are seeing that and they're like and they're probably saying, Hey man, my job's at stake. Cause like I said, the midterms are coming up. And normally not a lot of people vote on the midterm because there's no, there's no real hot button issue right now. But if the Democrats were kind of smart, I'd be pushing out this Obamacare vote and show, you know, like I said, it, it's not going to hurt them. As long as they don't do anything to hurt the team, you'll be all right. But my thoughts on the shutdown, I don't blame the Democrats. I don't blame the Republicans. Who I blame are these Tea Party wackos who just want to, and like I said, the Tea Party wackos, most of your Republicans are, most of your, fuck, for all that, most of your politicians are rich. They could care less if it's shut down. Because like I said, they're making money off the interest off of their off of their wealth. So they could care less if you or I are out of a, they, they, could, they don't give a shit about people getting furloughed. They're trying to make a point. They're, like I said, Obamacare is history. Obamacare can, won't be erased because it's history. You think Obama's going to just say, all right, that's his legacy for the next eight, for his eight years, was he got Obamacare passed. So what I'm saying is, you think he's going to go back and say, well, we'll just mantle the whole thing. you got to be crazy to think that the Tea Party Republicans, they're not, they're not, not real mental. They're not, they're not real clear shooters. I think a lot of them like are, are you know hopping on bandwagons. They may not believe it, but at the same time is they don't want the Tea Party going after them. And I think Ted Cruz is a fluke. He proved that on you know Meet the Press with David Fl Gregory because he couldn't answer a lot of questions. He deflected a lot of questions. So uh, if, I mean, and here's what kills me: a lot of Republicans, a lot of big businesses are Republican. Republican, they should they voted for that. People tell me, well, big businesses doesn't want it. Well, here's why they want it. What they do is, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you an example. They're going to jack your rates up. Now, what's that do? And what can they say? Well, it's Obamacare. That's why we're jacking our rates up. Well, what they'll do, they'll jack your rates up so high that you slide off of Obamacare. It's called psychology, people. Then when you slide off to Obamacare, think of the millions and the millions that they're going to save off of you. Or they'll do this. Or they can flat out not offer insurance. Which you still have to have, so you're going to have to get a bomb care regardless. And they still make out because the the fine is cheap. I think the fine is like two fifty a head or something. So it's cheaper than paying out what they're paying for you. So it's a lot of it is just like deception on at the job because they're going to tell you, well, Obamacare is the reason. Well, wait till you get off Obamacare. Of watch how much money they have in their in their stashes, and they're not giving that savings to you. So like I said, at the end of the day, as far as the shutting down, my number one priority, who I blame. It's not the Democrats. It's not the Republicans per se. It's the Tea Party and the lack of the Republican leadership to say anything to the Tea Party. Like, hey, shut the fuck up. You know, I'm sure a deal could have been worked out in the House. If it wasn't for them wackos. It was worked out in the Senate. It was bipartisan. So, I'm out of here. I got places to go and women to do. Peace.